Okay, Libras, welcome to your reading for the second half of May. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. And to my lovely, loyal subscribers, welcome back. Um, you guys know that um, I'm not home right now because I have uh, something going on, but if I'm not posting, um, I feel out of alignment. So, uh, I have to keep posting when and where I can, right? So let's see here what we have going on for Libra's family. Okay, this will be your main focus during the second half of May. Um, young female here. Um, and Ice Queen, who just got this? Virgo. Um, Virgo has this going on as well with the past love. Okay, so I feel like if you want it to, if you want to that's your choice not me um <laughs> sorry um to deal with family relationships if you want back your past love okay um there may be some blockages within the family um maybe a younger female so it could be like your daughter a sister something like that a niece um that may need your attention the sort of this thing that you have to do within your family so some people have to forgive their parents um in order to get back what they feel they've lost that some mercury is going retrograde uh towards the end of may so we see this queen of swords here this ice queen looking here so you may be looking at old past relationships, why they never worked and things like that. You may feel the urge to even text somebody from your past. Um, that's usually what Mercury does. Um, it wants you to communicate and sort out these unfinished business here. So I guess we're seeing that you have some unfinished business with family members. You can't just uh leave them and try and focus on love it wants this sorting out as well okay this is part of the lesson here um to sort this out as well family may be coming between you and love um so if you're single and you're like okay i'm leaving love and everything behind me i'm focusing on my family um it's not that the divine wants you to forget about love it just wants you to deal with this problem first for those of you who will resonate with for others of you um you know take what resonates leave what doesn't i've already posted lots of videos out this month so go ahead and check them out um and i'll leave information on how to contact me for personal readings in the description box passion ignites so you see when you've got all this behind you even a past love when you've let go of this past love all these family issues and you've learned to love yourself and have these healthy boundaries, you get offered an opportunity not to be missed. Something, if you have um, this, if you have a twin flame that is your past love here, I see them coming back if you're doing that sort of spiritual work and ascension. Queen of Swords is ascension. Um, you're going to learn a lot through loss and family situations um, throughout your life. Um, but here, we're now seeing an offer not to be missed, communication coming in there, um, passion ignites. It feels like exhaling, feels like exhaling when you finally get this offer and all these things are finally behind you. It feels like exhaling. So if you finally can let go of a past love or uh, family issues that have haunted you most of your life there, it feels like this exhaling, like I'm even sitting up straighter. I feel like you're just happy about it you're just ready for something new here and <laughs> ready for something new and the next card the magician awareness so you're really manifesting at this time okay so you're manifesting these offers these opportunities in life because that's what aces are they're always about opportunities the ace of wands though is an opportunity not to be missed so go ahead and take it you have all the aces with the magician 
right? So it's saying you have all, everything you need is within you to manifest whatever it is you desire. I have lots of videos out on manifesting as well on the channel in different playlists so you can set them out and look what came next. Ace of Swords. I told you, you have all the aces. You have all the aces in your hand now. So maybe even where you felt that um, opportunities was blocked and things like that, um, you're now getting communication, opportunities to be creative, opportunities to manifest the life you desire, whether it's with a past love or it's because you've left that past love behind and family issues. You've sort of had this breakthrough, this ascension, this aha moment where um, things just sort of click and fall into place and you understand them with this Ace of Swords. You finally find the truth and that's what sets you free. Um, who, I don't even know if it was just Virgo. I said it to, I don't know why I keep saying Virgo. So maybe some of you are dealing with a Virgo and this is um, finally cutting the cords with somebody here and saying, I see why it didn't work with them. I see why I had this with my family and now I can heal it all. And maybe even moving forward from that because the truth shall set you free, right? So let's see here what we have. Five of Cups. Um, this is somebody missing you because you seem to be um, breaking free and clearing lessons. I feel like this Ace of Swords here, I feel like this Ace of Swords is you cutting things away from you. I know it's weird, but that's why I don't show myself on camera. Um, but that's why I'm feeling this cutting away from things. So it's people finally missing you and seeing how much you do for them and how much, you know, I guess I don't want to say worth to them, but um, because you see your worth, they see your worth. Right. And it's finally missing you. This is somebody really sad and longing for you, actually um maybe you've cut them off or maybe they broke it off with you a long time ago but finally you've released their energy so they'll start to feel the loss when that happens i wouldn't be surprised if they return not at all yep there's there's you seeing your worth six of wands there's other people seeing your worth what we were just talking about here and this is why we can pick it up in the five of cups because they're now missing you they not, you've let go of the challenges here. This is a wand. This is six wands, seven wands. When we let go of the challenges, people finally see your worth because you're seeing your worth, right? Now things can happen for you. Now things that you want can move into your life. So don't just focus on what was lost. Focus on what you want moving forward. That's the six of wands because you've overcome these spiritual lessons and now with all these aces and opportunities coming your way high priestess um you need to know what you want for your future it's okay knowing what you don't want now it's time to know what you do want right vision balls write things down here okay your intuition is going to be on fire right now so just follow that and really expect the good expect success um expect people to treat you better right because that's what's coming here Wheel of Fortune. There's a huge change, a huge shift in you. So it's a huge shift in how people respond to you, talk to you, approach you and things. Um, now you're standing taller. Um, you know, people will approach you differently. It's your energy, right? The energy you have and put out, that's how people will respond to you. If you don't know your worth and you're in this energy of lack, People kind of approach you that way, right? So now you see that, nope, I'm on fire. I'm this, I'm that. Um, in a very beautiful way, I will say, um, because it's not egotistical at all that you're doing this, right? You learn through loss the hard way. And now uh, your intuition is getting stronger. It's shifting. So you'll notice that people approach you differently. And I guess that's why there's opportunities here that you shouldn't miss. Um, there's an opportunity for communication, breakthroughs, um, creative beginnings, uh, initiating here, success coming from creative beginnings. Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> That's why I love to pull the cards on camera because you have all the aces. Do I need to keep telling you? He told you up here. 
Do I need to keep telling you Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords? Ace of Pentacles. Act. Act. Start your creativity. You'll be getting job offers. There'll be people wanting to throw money at you at this time. Because we're in Taurus season, it's a real beautiful time for you to um, start getting savings and things and um, work on your money and things like that. Okay, we have the wheel. It's good fortune. Um, the Ace of Pentacles, huge money and an offer of commitment here. So it's not only passion igniting, it's love igniting, it's like commitment and something solid. King of Cups, somebody's ready for love here. Is it you guys? <laughs> or is it somebody making this offer towards you? When we finally let go, you know, we finally are ready for love to move forward, right? This is cutting away everything that's not serving you. It's, it's bringing you what you actually deserve and desire here. Ace of Swords, somebody's rushing towards you now. This person wants to be honourable. They may need to grow a little bit. Um, they may not know as much as you. They could have not had same sort of life experiences as you. So it's kind of maybe like opposites attracting. You might be the younger one, um, but it's okay. It's okay. It's saying act now. Take action. Move forward. Take action towards your money. It's a great time for that. Take action towards love. Don't just long for somebody. Plan for somebody. Plan for your soulmate in your life when you're manifesting. Say, hey, I'm going to put them out another cup. <laughs> I'm going to make myself a drink and I'm going to make them one too. Even if they don't exist, you can do this in your own privacy. And nobody knows but you. You're manifesting, right? Because you're the magician right now. You have all the aces, I'm telling you. The tower. Everybody's been getting this this month, right? Um, because there's a huge shift going on. There is, if we allow it, a chance for drama to come in towards the end of the month, um, this tower. But I don't really see it affecting the good energy that's around you. There's some changes, some redirections, but I don't see it affecting you in such a big way, okay? So you enjoy that. Hold your chariot, success there. Right after this, so it can be maybe even losing your job and you're like, you know what, so what? I'm going to start my own business. I've been doing all the work here anyway. And then boom, success. So it's a redirection. I told you it's taking a new approach is the chariot. And next to the tower, it's a redirection. It's not a major thing happening in your life. It's a redirection. You guys have got it good. You guys have got it good, I'm telling you. Um... Princess of Cups, this is love initiating, love beginning, or somebody apologising, and uh, might be that person from your past apologising and saying, I'm ready to love you. I'm ready to love you correctly this time. Um, because they see your worth. They see with that six of wands what you brought to them. Right? So, of course, we have free will. We don't never have to go back to our past. You know, and some people want to. So, we don't judge them either. It's their path. Okay, guys? Good luck.